If you ask the question, who are the great American artists of the post-war period, he certainly needs to be better understood than he is. Hugo was recognized in his lifetime as a mirror of the underground in New York. Hugo was active in all of these other areas, photographs of animals, landscapes, cityscapes, and his own involvement in particular topics like the group portrait. In this exhibition, we've tried to integrate all of these facets of his work. Peter Hugar was described by everyone who knew him as a difficult man. He did not like to explain his work. And I think it was not just a matter of shyness. Uh, I think it was really a belief that uh, viewers should have to discover for themselves what was in the work and make something new of their own. He was prone to depressions. He was prone to rages. That, I think, speaks to a self-destructive uh, tendency. Hujar was not dark. He was bright. He was lively. He was interested in the fact that people are alive. Robert Mablethorpe and Peter Hujar are often compared. They're both active at the same time. Mablethorpe's star continues to rise while Hujar's really does not move in the 1980s. Mablethorpe was really interested in the perfection of beautiful people. Hujar was a psychologist. He wanted to get inside of the people that he was photographing. He was not interested in making a great star of himself to the extent that Mablethorpe was. This project uh, lasted about four years. It was about uh, three years of research and writing. It was uh, very valuable to be able to speak to 25 people who had known Hujar throughout the length of his lifetime and to be able to get that story out in a way that had not been seen before.